All right, so this is the small system I've been using for the past year or so. I've been using this system on a daily basis with only about 300 watts of solar coming in to power the little content studio I got going on here in my garage and my toy hauler where we live full time. We've been running some LED lights, some LED studio lights, my monitor for my computer, my Echo Show, a handful of small devices all over the place here and there. Our goal here with our life and for this YouTube channel is to document how we are transitioning slowly to a fully off-grid life rather than doing it where we just dive in head first, taking bits and pieces of our life off-grid one step at a time. This system has been working great for us for the past year or so, but it's time to start expanding. So before I take the system down and start doing some of the upgrades to the system I have planned, I thought it would be good to go over it a little bit and do a review of everything one piece at a time. What we're going to do today is run a capacity test on this WISE 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery and see how well it does after a full year of use. I did a capacity test on this battery when it was brand new when I first got it uh, and it exceeded the 100 hour capacity by a little. And I haven't done a capacity test since then, and I'm kind of curious how much, if any, degradation we have after a year of daily use. I didn't think to write down the exact results when I did the test a year ago, so we're going to just say it was exactly a tad bit over 100 amp hours and just go with that. I've already got everything set up here to run the test, and even though we're not yet fully off grid, I can't stand the idea of wasting power. So the load that we're going to use used for the system to run this test is going to go in to our Mango Power E, which is a huge power station that uh, it's partially empty now, so it could stand to take some, some juice. And might as well just transfer this power over to the Mango and be able to recycle that power rather than just burn it off with a heat gun or whatever. So the way we're going to do this test is we're going to run the run this battery till it goes dead through this system here which has a Bluetooth enabled uh, battery monitor to, de to see the entire capacity of this. It's gonna route through here to our Redoto 1000 watt inverter that again, we've been using for about a year or so. And we're gonna disconnect this uh, 40 amp charge controller here just to make sure there's no nothing here to skew the results or anything like that. I've already got my solar panels turned off. So now you can see it's just purely the battery this system, which is going to be uh, a Bluetooth app that I'll pull up where you can see the results as they're happening. I'll put it in a time lapse and then we'll go ahead and plug in our mango to here and run the test. So I've already got this charged up completely with a 10 amp charger that's specifically designed for lithium iron phosphate batteries and ran it until it turned off. So I know for sure it's 100% completely full before we start this test. So let's go ahead and turn this on here. And then we'll go ahead and set up our app to be able to pull that up on the screen before we waste too much battery here and get this test started. Hey, sorry for the interruption, but I'm a new content creator here on YouTube and I'm trying to get my channel off the ground. So if you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button right down there. And if you're into solar and off-grid stuff, why not go ahead and smash that subscribe button while you're at it? These things really help the YouTube algorithm to help others find my channel as well. Plus, being a subscriber here has its perks. For every milestone in our channel's growth, we're giving away something solar related. Watch to the end of the video to find out how you can get your hands on some cool free solar stuff. Now, back to the video. Still going, but this inverter's not happy about it. And there we go. 98.291. So, we've had a little over 1%, 1.2%. 7% loss after a year of use. So the 1.7% loss is pretty good. The average loss on these is uh, between 1% and 4% per year. They, uh, they say that 
They expect about a 20% loss over the course of a 10-year lifespan, and 1.7% loss over the course of 10 years would be 17% loss. So that's actually doing really good. Um, so I'm pretty impressed, especially considering I've somewhat abused this battery. I charge it all the way full, and I drain it down quite a bit because I've been using this battery all by its lonesome under a fairly good load every single day. So it's it's been abused, and it's lasted quite well. If I can get 10 years out of one of these batteries, I would be more than pleased, especially considering the price has come down so far on these that this is an absolute bargain. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this test, and uh, I haven't seen many videos that go and do a capacity test after a year like this, uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and make one. Usually they're done on a brand spanking new battery, and uh, I was really curious what the results would be after a year. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. So before I end this video, I thought I'd let you know that I'm giving away some pretty cool solar-related stuff for every milestone in our channel's growth. I'm a small channel that's just starting out, so I need as many likes and subscribes as I can get. So I thought, why not take some of the extra solar stuff I got laying around and pay it forward to my subscribers? So, to find out what the current milestone is and what I'm giving away next, go ahead and watch this video right here, and I'll see you in the next video.